Hello, this is Daryl Mass with BarbecueSuperstars.com, and we're here today with Steve May. Hey, Steve. Hey, Daryl. How are you? Real good. He's over the home place. He is the director of the home place, and we just want to uh, say thank you for doing this interview, Steve, and, and we want to uh, know a little bit about your position. Well, as the director of the Lynchburg Home Place for the Jack Daniel Distillery, my role here is to oversee all the marketing operations here in Lynchburg. I'm not over the whiskey making itself. That's left up to Tommy Beam, our vice president general manager. But for me, I'm over all the retail and uh, there's many other uh, aspects of my job, such as tourism, the visitor center. We've got public relations here in town. Wow. I've got the, um, of course, there's a lot of property management involved. We own 11 buildings here on on the square, and so That's we we right we have a yeah we do have a lot of uh, retailers that uh, make their livelihood here, and Brown Foreman purchased those buildings so that we could keep a lively downtown Lynchburg. Wow. So one of my roles is to keep a vibrant town, uh, not the mayor, uh, but uh, kind of fill a lot of those same kind of roles. Uh, work a lot with the State Department of Tourism and whatnot. I'm also over all the retail operations, so we've got uh, several retail stores. We've got the largest liquor store in the state of Tennessee. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> in uh, in relation to sales of Jack Daniels products, okay, we sell only commemorative bottles there. So uh, we'll sell about 50,000 bottles a year. And one of the things that I really love about my company, and Jack Daniels is such a a, give, a, a company that wants to give back to their community, so we give $3.50 back in donation back to the community to be used in the general fund to run Lynchburg on for every bottle. Now that's barbecue love there, that's barbecue love. Yes sir, so uh, for for a town that uh, you know only has 500 people in one traffic light, they really do need the revenue, you know. We have about 250,000 visitors a year that come to Lynchburg. Wow. Okay, we're one of the top tourist attractions in the state. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, uh, matter of fact, Susan Whitaker, our director, state director of tourism, is here today judging. Mm -hmm. So uh, she's she's such a wonderful ambassador for the state, and she allows us to participate in many of the initiatives going on with the state, such as the new Jack Trail mm -hmm. that's starting off. It's going to be kicked off in. Uh, in uh, February where it's sort of a distillery tour if you will of all the various distilleries and wineries in the state let, let me get let me get that straight now you're gonna have a trail that you can come to the uh, Welcome Center and go up and walk around the distillery. No, 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 I'm not talking that. I'm talking about visiting all of the distilleries and wineries in the uh, about an eight county area. There's really only three counties that allow uh, distilleries and that's uh, Moore County, Lincoln County and Coffee County. Okay. But there's many other areas that have wineries and stuff. So uh, plus, well, I think uh, downtown Nashville now has availability to do that. I think that's Davidson County that, that allows that now. But um, uh, as far as as far as that initiative, it's going to kick off in five. Now let me say one thing about outsourcing right there. Now there's been some number one beer companies within the last three or four years that have sold out to foreign countries, but not Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels is still still owned by American, still investing in American and all American. It sure is. You know the Brown family owns a, a majority stake in Brown Foreman. Of course, they were the founders of the company. Purchased Jack Daniels in 1956 for 20 million dollars. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so after that purchase, uh, they've maintained a, a huge commitment to the brand. To the brand. They've, they've allowed this uh, brand to be the fuel to grow so many other brands. Now we have a huge portfolio of brands. Yes. Uh, we're, we've had huge, hu yes sir, huge in the tequila world, uh, the wine world. We've got many wines. We've got uh, our, our own uh, other uh, bourbons and, and Canadian whiskeys. We've got... Uh, uh, vodkas, you know, just just many. Other. Gentleman Jack. Yeah, well, Gentleman Jack, uh, single barrel and black label and green label are the family of brands family for of Jack, brands Daniels. Jack Daniels. Yes, okay, oh. yes, yes. We're the largest number one re, uh, uh, seller of, of of whiskey in the world. We sell number one seller in the world. Yes, sir. Uh, Jack Daniels Black Label is the number one selling whiskey in the world. Wow, you heard that right here. Number one, baby. Now look, now they got a whole bunch of number one cookers in the world. We've got international guys back here. And buddy, it's the number one whiskey in the world. Yes, sir. Let me talk about barbecue, if you don't mind. Sure, Let me just on. tell you about it, brother. Let me tell you. I had to tell you all that other stuff to give you the understanding of why we're in barbecue. Why did we get involved in barbecue? I'll tell you why we got involved in barbecue. 22 years ago, the brand saw a, a fledging sport 
out there. The barbecue community, Boy, the barbecue community needed uh, a world championship, a true world championship, yes. where we took the winners of all the other competitions throughout the world oh and gosh. held and held an invitational oh right baby, here, baby. right here in Lynchburg, <laughs> right there. How about that, brother? Yeah. All right. So this is the culmination of the entire barbecue season. This year is the 22nd year and it's going to be the very best one. God bless us for this wonderful weather Hallelujah. that we've got today and yeah. this crowd is enormous. I wish y'all could see the crowd. We're going to have, I'm going to estimate the crowd right now. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that we're going to have 25 to 30,000 people here today. How, okay, how about that man? You know, I know the economy's been bad, but this is a free thing. People free. can come here for not a dollar. No. You know, and I got to tell you something, Jack Daniels has maintained its commitment to not only this community, but our loyal Jack Daniel fans because all of the people that love our brand can come here and take a free distillery tour. Now what about that? Where can you go in the world and not do anything? Many places and I tell you what, American owned baby, American owned. <laughs> I'm telling you man, and you know, we make our barrels in America, they're made at Brown Foreman Cooperage in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we employ 375 of the hardest working people, the most committed, dedicated, sometimes multi-generational employees that I've ever worked with and I've had a pretty uh, long career mm -hmm. and uh, have really found a home here with Jack Daniels yeah, in Daniels. Lynchburg, Tennessee. There's, there's just nothing better on the planet, I can promise you. I've just, I'm just amazed at how uh, this company interacts with their, with their uh, brand ambassadors, mm -hmm. uh, the public, uh, the people that drink Jack Daniels, and we want to be a friend to anybody. Yes, well you're my friend. You, you don't have to just, you don't have to be a drinker. You know, you don't, you know, you don't, you don't have to be that. You, but we want you to understand the difference between when we take you on that tour. We want to educate you about the difference between bourbon, okay, and Tennessee whiskey. Okay. All right, and it's all about that charcoal mellowing. We got to go through 10 feet of sugar maple charcoal to transform that from a t from a bourbon at the top. Tennessee whiskey comes out the end. We put it in a brand new white oak barrel mature it in our maturation warehouses spread out all over the county here we've got 77 of them bad boys <laughs> right. i tell you what if you if you make your own barbecue sauce barbecue superstar is telling you right now if you don't put jack daniels in it you're shorting yourself it does something to the sugar i do it at home i did it for my uh, wife and kids and i tell you what they slam ate them ribs up when i put that jack daniels in there i'm telling you you know you know another thing you can do you know if you ever run out of uh a vanilla, right? You can substitute Jack Daniels in there, and Jack Daniels will will uh, substitute for vanilla. If you're worried about the liquor, it just comes right off when you put the heat to it. That's right. You know, Miss Tolly, Lynn Tolly, who runs Mary Bobo's over here, she's uh, Jack Daniels' great grandniece. She told me a story one day, and I just got a big kick out of it. We were in there eating, and she said, "You know, one day I told that story to to a table that I was uh, hostessing, and she said, you know, if you ever run out of Vanilla, you can always substitute Jack Daniels. And this little old man was standing there, he looked up at her, he said, Honey, I'm a whole lot more likely to run out of Jack Daniels than I am any old vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta shake your hand on that one. <laughs> now look, uh, we wanted to uh, present your shirt and I'm gonna tell you why I'm giving you this shirt. All right, shirt. brother. Uh, Oh, you know, I've, I'm a pharmacist, and I've, I've done a lot of different jobs in my life, and I have never come to an event or been around any people that I like better, that love me, I love them. And I tell you what, just feel this interview. You know, Jack Daniels is a fantastic company, and I don't know what, how you feel about what they make, but I'll tell you what, you need to come to this event, you need to eat you some barbecue, you need to buy into what they're doing, because they're all American. They're decent, and they're what America is all about. Yes, sir. And I tell you what, I appreciate you taking this interview. I, hey, you know, Darryl, I tell you what, I want to tell you one other thing about this about this competition. That we this year have 80 teams there about that have come from all over this country and the world to participate in this event. And you're talking about barbecue heaven. This is it. They love it, and we've got judges, people that try for years to become a judge here and we, we have to invite them judges. We've got a long waiting list of people that want to participate. And you know, that's not out of arrogance, that's just out of the popularity of this town and the brand and being, being involved and barbecue itself. Barbecue is just such a huge uh, 
uh, fledging sport, I call it that, because the community for barbecue lovers uh, is just enormous. I grew up in the restaurant business. My father owned a restaurant for uh, 51 years. So, so I've been around the food industry for a long time. I happen to be over Miss Barry Bobo's, of course, with the, with the group of, uh, of wonderful people that work over there. So I'd like to invite you, if you can't eat barbecue here today, to come see us and eat up here at Miss Mary Bobo's. Oh, wow. Just come over here and take our tour, learn about what makes Jack Daniels so popular, and uh, enjoy this event. We've got many other events here in the town that we do throughout. You can visit the distillery on a daily basis. We're open 360 days a year, my friend. Every day, 9 to, 9 to 430, you can take a tour, and it's free. I mentioned that a couple of times, but I want to make sure you know that. You get to go all the way through the authentic uh, the authentic uh, tour where we have it. Uh, you know, it's not Disneyland, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's the real thing. It's very authentic. And uh, we are, we're real proud of that because uh, a lot of places in our, in our world as far as tourism and whatnot have, have kind of gotten away from that. And we still allow people to go through and just uh, uh, see the real deal. And, you know, we only make Jack Daniels in one place in the world, and it's right here. Just because of that water source. Jack Daniel himself located here in 1866. He had the choice of going anywhere. He located here because there's such a wonderful... Uh, virtually iron-free uh, water bed, water that runs on a limestone bed. It comes out uh, about 56 degrees year-round, and it's perfect whiskey-making water. Man, I'll tell you, whiskey-making uh, whiskey mecca. Yes, sir. So we're just very fortunate to have Jack Daniels in our community, and I want to appreciate, uh, thank you all for coming and, 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 uh, and uh, being here to uh, uh, do, the, do the media part for our event, and uh, thank you so much for coming. Now, we'll have... I mean, Thursday, the setup, Friday, the competitors getting their game on and, and just a lot of uh, crowd shots. We'll have some of the judging. We're going to have a general overview. And I tell you what, this interview with Steve May is going to be the tippy top and it's going to cap it all off. And we appreciate you taking right, this buddy. interview. And keep Glad up the did. barbecue love. And from all the uh, people who are competing out there, there's a lot of love for y'all. People, yeah. people really care about. Jack Daniels has done a lot of. But I have to say one thing before I go, just one thing. Now, Myron Mixon, oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, what about him? He's, he's been on the. Uh, he's been on television and he only got to compete in 18 events and so you know by the rules he didn't qualify but I just wanted to ask you Steve you can pull any strings next year if you don't get the events in just let him come cook based on the uh, past merit or something. Hey, we love Myron he can come anytime I mean yeah we just we want him here he's a part of this deal okay. He, he is okay. We can get him here. All right, All right. well thank hey, you. Well, thank you and happy barbecue and all you barbecue fans out there and uh we hope y'all have a good next season. This one's over after today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Right, man. Thank you. Man, I enjoyed right, that. Brother. Thank you. Good.